is up y'all welcome to the video it is absolutely freezing right now it is in the negatives and uh man even though <laughs> even though the sun is out don't let that fool you man it is cold right now but we are headed to my apartment gym to do my physical therapy exercises for my knees and uh we so we took this weekend totally off from the gym saturday and sunday and then takes monday we're still we are still taking off as well from the gym on tuesday i plan on getting back in and uh we just need like a few days off to kind of, you know, recoup and uh, kind of give myself a little bit of time to recover because that's also how you guys don't think you have to go seven days per week, but we still need to get this done. And uh, yeah, let's get it done. Let's go. All right, so when I got this morning, it was negative six degrees outside. That's cold. It's very cold. Um, but anyways, so we have the ankle weight here, ankle weight ankle weight boom got that so we're doing the leg raises oh, this way. hopefully no one needs that but okay so we're doing the leg raises first leg raises first so here leg raises to point out it's just gonna squeeze at the top so by the way the lions won yesterday against the rams after giving all of us a panic attack, <laughs> after, oh my gosh, it's crazy. They were, on, they were on Sunday Night Football. I'm like, oh my gosh, they actually gonna win this thing? It was, it was like literally, gave all of us a freaking panic attack. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I, can, I, I literally cannot watch it. I was like, dude, like, it was the fourth quarter, the Rams had the ball. I'm like, bro, like, please, like, do not score. Any points because it's 23 24 Lions. I'm like, dude, like, sheesh. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. But, anyways, that's it. Oh, okay, oh, that's that. So even though it is a deal week, a deal, a deal, a week, it's deal a week this week, not a week, but like a couple of days, um, I still try and get, um, oh wait, so the reason why I take a deal a couple, like just a couple of days off is one, for my mind, two, for my body, three, just mentally clearing out any the clarity. Um, so that's the reason why too. Um, if I don't do that, then I'll probably, I, I risk more, I risk, I'm, I'm a high risk of injury, so the first thing. So, I mean, that's insane. So, uh, oh man. It's again, so yeah, anyways, but um, it was like, it was like, there was like seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. I'm like, bro, like, what the, like, please, and they ran to the ball, 32, 23, 24. They were in the Lions, they were in the Lions zone, like the other side of the field, and then they, they got set back a little bit, and after that, then they were at mid midfield third down, and they tried to throw it into, Deeper into Lions territory, territory. They, did, they didn't get it, so now the Lions won. So that was freaking, that was a nail biter for sure, 100%. And I don't, especially if it's, if it's the, the team you're rooting for and the city you're from, you're like, bro, please, 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 please do not score. So, um, anyways, the Lions won, so. But, uh, yeah. So, yep, anyways, this is going to be, this is a, 20 here, or 30, sorry, 30 reps, sorry, 20. That's great. Oh, sure. Let's do that point, tell us point out. Crap. Oh, that's actually crazy. Tomorrow we have, I think tomorrow we have legs, by the way, legs, by the way. Legs tomorrow. <laughs> feeling, feeling solid there, man, since all day. I worked this morning, look at that. Got about 3.45 this morning. 3.45, and uh, yeah, that's good, 3.45, and left for work at 4.00. Was it 4.05, 4 a.m., 4 or 5 around there? So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I train, I, I'm at a private gym right now. I train, I do classes and stuff, so. I mean, yeah. That's, uh, it's just, yeah, we, we gotta finish this up here. We gotta finish this up. Here's looking solid stuff, but it's pretty, looking pretty good. It's not, it's not looking too bad. Um, and that snow, that snow on the freaking, yeah, that snow outside is also kind of blind, but yeah, man, we're gonna finish up though. I'm gonna catch up, with, catch up with, you guys, with you guys in a little bit. Um, oh, and by the way, too, this one is a great one if you're always struggling with like knee pain or hip pain or knee pain. 
just let your side give us a little bent and your heel points to the sky and uh yeah this is, this is definitely a, a burner for sure so oh man the stuff Good stuff, good stuff. All right, nice, okay. All right, check, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, now we have monster walks. So we're going out. So it's more of this, more like, push that foot out, push that foot out. So we're with the hips and the glute medius here. I'm trying to keep my hips strong and strengthen my hips here. I do tend to have some weak hips at times, so weak and tight hips. So it's crucial that I work them the best. My ability going backwards now. About 10 total here. Oof. And this is gonna be good. And then, and then after that, we have side steps. So side steps so down back. That's why I wonder why, Nathan, Nathan, why do you do this every so week? Why do you do this every week? So the first reason why I do it every week is because I have, well, generally, and I feel like a lot of people do have a weak hip, I have weak hips, um, well, weaker hips, tight hips, uh, my core is okay right now, but um, I feel like my hips and my glutes, um, my glutes have gotten better, but my hips, especially my editors, men have been are weak and tight, so I was trying to maybe work them on my off days, because they are my, 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 my weak points, and this is not really a high impact exercise either, so this is good, this is good for us. So, I'm back. I can't think of a better one to do than monster walks. Two more. One, two. Oh. All right. Good stuff. Yeah, so it's currently negative one right now, as you can see. Negative one degrees out. And one thing you'll know about or don't know about cold air and Arctic air is that it is dry, man. Cold air is very, very dry. It's very easy for your skin to dry out, your hands, your lips. It's so easy for it to dry out, man. But so, so I recommend you guys do, um, have some lotion on hand. Of course, if you live in a cold climate, you probably know this. And uh, don't put on lotion, by the way, before the gym, it's not a good idea. But like, if you just, there's really like no, not a lot of humidity, unless it snows. But you would think, okay, there's a lot of humidity because there's snow, right? There's snow, but not really, because it's all frozen. So nothing's really melting on it. It's just kind of all there. So it's not really like it's, melting if it's melting it'll be humid for sure but right now it's, it's arctic cold air is very very dry it's actually kind of funny too because you can tell with the sunrise over the horizon that literally this is even looks the sky and the sun look dry as heck <laughs> this, is, this is really strange and like a really it's just a very cool sight okay, so usually after my physical therapy exercises i usually have creatine and protein both i have not had them in two days i need to get on that I've been slacking a little bit on that. So, I'm gonna grab a butter bottle somewhere in here. Of, ah, I got boom, okay, so the Shakeology one here. Boom. So we'll do protein powder, and we'll do some creatine as well. And we're gonna get some work done. YouTube video, editing that, some reels, emails, client stuff. And yeah, man, it's gonna be good. By the way, I've noticed I'm not the kind of person who can work all online. I like, I, I feel like it's, so if I had my channel, my YouTube channel all online, sure, I would do, I, I could, I would probably be able to, to, to do that. But like if it's like online clients, some of that, I literally go nuts. I felt like when I, before I got, like my job at Private Gym Man, I was literally going cuckoo crazy. But now I feel a lot better now. So now I have a job at a gym, making money now, making, making progress. You guys, like it's, I feel like working online is very, very, very overrated, but it's so overrated, it really is. It's so like, I mean, you, you, like humans, we need people interaction, but if you work online, I mean, so yes, and given, is it for some people? Yes. Is it for most people? No, it's not. And I don't think I'll ever, by having some sort of in-person thing, or if, I, if I'm fully, even if I'm fully like 50 clients online, still, like it's, well, I mean, that's still a lot of work to do. So 50 clients may make you busy, but man, like it's a, it's quite, it's quite a, it's quite brutal sometimes because we need people interaction, we need human interaction. That's the human psyche 
we need that. And, we, and, and me personally, I'm very personable. I'm very uh, outgoing. I'm very uh, um, just, I, I, need, I need to connect with people and I connect easily with, with people. So if I'm, if I'm not doing it, doing that, I go crazy. And if I'm stuck in my apartment all day, I go absolutely nuts. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, so just keep that in mind. So, and you may be the same way. Mm. I think mean, I mean it's all about uh, self-awareness, so know yourself and make the decisions that are best for you. We're gonna cook some breakfast now. I believe we've got an omelet and tater tots on the menu today. So let's get cooking, baby. I'm gonna actually let you guys know how it looks. Not looks, I'm just gonna let, show you guys what it's like, what, what it looks like and how it tastes. I'll show you guys after I'm done. <laughs> that mustard there an omelet with so a quick tip here by the way if you're gonna make an omelet trust me in this honey baked ham is fire and then we have 200 grams of egg whites two eggs in there uh tater tots for the carbs a little, a little bit of mustard we're gonna go enjoy this right now and get a little work done and uh, yeah i go back to uh the gym at 4 p.m today till 7 so, oh, 738 or so. So yeah, hit, hit, hit that up. And uh, yeah, man, let's get it done. Let's go eat this food. We're done, let's go baby, let's go. Mustard there, an omelet with, so a quick tip here by the way. If you're gonna make an omelet, trust me in this. Honey baked ham is fire. And then we have 200 grams of egg whites, two eggs in there, uh, tater tots for the carbs, a little, a little bit of mustard. We're gonna go enjoy this right now and get a little work done. And uh, yeah, I go back to uh, the gym at 4 p.m. today till 7, so oh, 7.38 or so. So yeah, hit, hit, hit that up and uh, yeah, man, let's get it done. Let's go eat this food, we're done. Let's go, baby, let's go. All right, y'all, so we're on our way back to the gym now to teach more classes. And I have a, a class, a semi-private and another class, so we have a good amount of classes today. And I'll also tell you guys that the one thing, the one mistake that I see people in the gym, just in general, in the gym, like whether you're doing classes, whether you're doing in the gym, whether you're lifting weights, the biggest mistake I, I see is people thinking that cardio is the end all be all and the answer to their weight loss problems. That's the base, that's the, that is the biggest mistake I see and I'll tell you why that's a problem. The problem with that is you end up just, want, just, just wanting to be skinny and your metabolism slows down and you end up becoming, becoming what's called skinny fat. So skinny fat is not a desirable look by any means. Basically what happens when, when, when you're skinny, you know, when you don't have a lot of muscle mass on you, but you're skinny, you have a high amount of body fat and a low muscle mass percentage of, of it, your weight, right? So the thing is, this can get, this can become a problematic very fast. I'll tell you why. The first really, first, do you think that if you're married, your wife or husband, do you think they find skinny fat attractive? No, they don't. They don't. You, regardless, regardless of what you tell yourself, regardless of what they say, they don't, they don't find it attractive. So, or don't even do it for that. Do it for yourself, man. Like, do you feel good when, when, when you're skinny fat? No, you don't. Now, am I saying go freaking full bodybuilding style and go Arnold and get, no, no, man. You just gotta, you can still do cardio. You, you, you gotta incorporate some sort of weight training, some sort of something into your routine, man. If you don't, then it's, gonna get, it's, it's not gonna be good. It's gonna, it's gonna get it bad very, very fast, and we don't want that. Excuse me, so. I would, I, would, I would tell you guys to do is really trying to focus on strength training and, and, and cardio both. You, you, by the way, you do need both. Like you need both. If you don't have both, then what are you doing? Like if you don't have both, then it, you're just you're you, you're gonna be imbalanced. Your strength's gonna be down. Your cardio's, your cardio's gonna be down. I mean, as everything's gonna be down. So the problem with all this, this is that man. This is that. Now, having said this, the one thing I will also I will also say is the fact that man, I would tell you guys right now, 
Cardio is the answer to an extent. Cardio is the answer to an extent. To an extent. Like you need cardio, you need a healthy heart in order to perform the way you want to perform. You need a healthy heart, you need a healthy body, a healthy, a sound mind in order to perform the way you want to. If you don't have this, then man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a long, long road, man. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be, like guys, it's gonna be fat. The only thing it really does for you is makes you look, look like a little bit unproportionate. No, it, it, it does. It, it does. It, it literally makes you look unproportionate. You want to look proportional, and with with whatever you're doing, whatever it is you're doing, proportion is key here. It's key. It's so key. Now, where that comes in the play is in literally. Daily life. Now, skinny fat can also also be made from not eating enough protein. It can be made from not not lifting weights. It can be made from not, not eating enough food. Because man, like, you can get skinny once again. Like the the body fat is probably still gonna be there. So it's yeah, man. Because your body, your metabolism doesn't burn enough. It, it, it's not burning as many calories at rest as you would if you were to gain muscle mass. So. It's a, it's a passive way. Building muscle mass is building muscle mass is a is, is a passive and aggressive way of building muscle mass. So, having said that, it's a very passive way to build muscle mass. That is a, not to build muscle mass, to, to to lose weight, and and that's what well, that's what you want. To, you want to work smart, and you also want to work hard at the same time. You want to, you want to just you're working hard and not seeing any progress. So working smart. And hard at the same time is the key to this. Is the key to progress. Is the key to success. Success in, in fitness. So, just remember, you got this, guys. You guys, you got this. I know. I believe in you. You can do this. I know you do. You can do this, and you will do this. Okay. And uh, yeah, man. That, that's all I got for now. Um, yeah. And I will. I'll catch y'all soon here. I, I actually want to join up to teaching classes and yeah man, I'm pretty pumped for that so that, that's, that's going to be a good time man. It's going to be a good time so I'll catch, I'll catch y'all. Oh and the amount of times you show the gym also can can um, oh, what's, what's what I'm for? can contribute to being skinny fat or having a, a proportional physique or even having a lot of muscle mass and losing, and losing a lot of body fat but I mean, I mean, yeah you want your body to be a body fat burning machine and a great way to do that is to once again have a combination of muscle mass and a great combo of cardio as well involved in your routine. So, and so that's all I got for now, and I will talk to you guys soon. So that's all I got for this video. I actually just ended class at the gym, and um, actually it was a one-on-one. -on -one, but so I love one-on-ones. I love I love doing one-on-ones. My private is all great. But um, and that's, uh, that's all I got for this video. If y'all did enjoy, I highly appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button down below for more content just like this also if you guys want to lose weight you must mask in confidence make sure you apply to my coaching program me down below i'd be happy to help you out guys anyways if you're a person who wants everything to just stay the same and how it has been don't worry about this but if you're a person who really wants to change and really wants to make 2024 their year and get in shape and finally lose that weight gain muscle mass gain confidence make sure you apply down below and I'd be happy to get to show you this client, but anyways, that's all I got. Now, see y'all, bros. He's in the next video. Ah.